Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my declutter, my natural hair product collection declutter. So if you haven't seen part one, I'm basically trying to get rid of a huge amount of products um, that don't serve me in my hair journey. I actually have a hair goal guide and I'll link that down below for you guys so that you can grab your own that I'm using to help me bring more joy in my hair journey this year. And after really learning my hair, figuring out what works for me and finding my holy grail products, what will work for me right now is just having balance in my hair care regimen. And that means balance in how much time I spend on my hair, balance in like my thoughts around my hair. I really am trying to have well I always I always try to have good thoughts about my hair because I feel like what you think um is your reality like and that's true for everything what's within your mind is also in front of you everything that you see right now is a product of what you've been thinking so I always try to think very highly of my hair I try to treat her as gently as possible <laughs> but yeah so um a part of having just like good feelings about my hair is also alleviating the stress of um, having a bunch of products that I don't necessarily like and I found that every wash day I was kind of wading through products that I don't use that I never will use and so that's why I'm decluttering my hair products today I'm decluttering with a purpose okay so these products right here these are the products that have been used that I'm going to be throwing away if you guys want to see reviews on these products and why I'm getting rid of them again you can check out part one these products right here are the products that haven't been used and that I'll be donating to a shelter. But these products right here are the products that I'm actually going to be keeping. These are the ones that I like. And then these ones right here are products that I'm not exactly sure about. Um, so I'm going to revisit them once I get done going through everything. And here is everything that we have left. So I'm going to be going through these two shelves today in this video. And um, I may also go through those little bins down there. These are mostly just hair tools. I'll show you guys. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of much here. Okay, so let's actually start with the stuff that I found underneath my sink. And the first thing here is the Camille Rose Naturals Herbal Tea Seal and Soften. This is a hair oil that has nettle leaf, sage, marigold flower, patchouli leaf, lavender flowers. A whole bunch of goodness is in this oil. And if you guys don't know already, I love this oil. I haven't been using it recently because it's actually pretty heavy. And I've been wanting to go for a more voluminous and like light and fluffy look but when I do need a more heavier oil that still is able to penetrate my low porosity hair this is like my go-to oil so I'm going to be keeping this. Next here I actually have something new that I was just trying for a few weeks and this is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. So it's just like their traditional line scent. It smells really good though. It smells like coconuts and tropicalness <laughs> and it's just a moisture mist so basically this is water with a couple of oils in it let me find the ingredients so it's deionized water coconut oil shea butter essential oil blend neem seed oil algae extract um, some silk protein there's actually a lot of good stuff in here and I'm surprised that this actually didn't work better than it did so for me this really didn't give me any moisture um, I felt like I was pretty much just spraying water on my hair and I thought that I would get more from all the oils in the product but maybe this just has a lot of water in it um, so yeah, I'm actually going to, I've only used this a few times and it's basically full. Like I probably use this three times. So I'm going to put this in the donate pile. Next is another oil. So this is the Ara Kasia, um, Nourishing Sweet Almond Oil. And this is an oil that I actually had to go to the vitamin shop to get. For some reason, it's really hard to find, um, just pure organic almond oil. So, and I don't even think this is organic. I think this is just like straight almond oil. <laughs> But this is actually my oil of choice right now. This gives me, oh, I love it so much. It really helps to nourish my hair. It gives my hair shine and it's very lightweight as well as it's able to penetrate my hair. I really like this and of course I'm going to keep it. I probably need to restock on it actually. Actually, no, it's like, it's like right here and I've had this forever. Next, we have the Oyen Handmade Greg Juice. This is a nourishing herbal leave-in hair tonic. 
And because these are the products that are under my sink, a lot of them I'm going to be keeping because they're products that I use on an almost daily basis. Um, but I'm going to keep this. I really like Oyen's, um, what are these called? They're herbal leave-in hair tonics. It's funny because they're almost something that you feel like you don't need, but then once I've had them, I can't stop getting them. So I just like to refresh my hair with this in place of water. Like if my hair is feeling especially dry, maybe it's day five, six, or seven, and I can't like wash my hair, I need to just make my hair stretch for a few days. This comes in handy because I feel like it gives me nourishment, moisture, and it also just makes your hair feel and smell good. So I'm keeping this because I really, really like it. And if you're wondering what the difference between the Juices and Berries and the Greg Juice, and I think there's another one, um, there's basically just the scents. They're pretty much the same blends, but this one sell, smells more like unisex. It's less fruity and more citrusy in comparison to the Juices and Berries. Next is another all-time favorite. If you guys know me, you know I love this product. So this is Oyen Handmaid's Hairdo. I talked about this in almost every one of my videos <laughs> but this is their daily hair quenching lotion um quick specs on this product is it's made with food grade ingredients it's one of the most moisturizing leave-ins that i've ever come across out of all of the products i've tried and you can use this on dry and wet hair and i think it works especially well on medium to low porosity hair this i think i'm actually pretty much done with i was really trying to get to the bottom of this container as you guys can see. So this is basically the Bakura Nectarine Vanilla Honey Latte Detangling Hair Milk. And they describe this product as a lightweight botanical hair lotion infused with babasu seed oil, organic honey, and kapuasu fruit. That sounds delicious, right? It looks like an amazing product. And honestly, this these ingredients are amazing as well. So it has water, babasu seed oil, castor seed oil, kapawasu seed butter, um, shea butter, fruits, and organic raw honey. But the thing about this product is it just wasn't moisturizing enough. It felt like it was really, a lot, it was just a lot of water. Like it kind of felt like moisturizing like a moisturizing water cream like there is so much water in this product and I feel like this could have been an amazing leave-in it could have been a really lightweight but uber moisturizing leave-in um, but it just did not do it for me however it wasn't terrible and it also smells amazing it smells so good oh there's like a little bit left <laughs> Um, so I kept it for just when I would refresh my hair. So say I would take like the Greg juice, I just spray that over my hair and get it like a little damp and then I take probably like a handful of this and just work it through my hair. And it didn't give me the most moisture but it made my hair smell good and it helped me stretch my hair for another day or two. So I just kept it so I could finish it. And I'm disappointed in this product I have to say. I wish that it was more moisturizing and um, solved my quest for the perfect leave-in because I'm really looking looking for a leave-in that I can wear in wash and goes that's super moisturizing and has great ingredients and I haven't found that yet. The Oyen hairdo I prefer to use that with twists so this could have been it but it wasn't. Now next I have a product that I actually haven't shared on my channel yet. I've been using this for the past four months and it's the Paul Mitchell The Detangler. So this is a product that I actually bought when I went in search of a really clarifying shampoo. And this is the Paul Mitchell Shampoo 2. So quickly on this product, it will get rid of everything. Every single thing on your hair. Like your hair will be squeaky squeaky clean. But I like the clean that I get from this because I feel like with all the oils and the butters and like the multiple products that I'll layer on my hair, this will completely get that out of my hair and let my hair be as curly as it naturally is. My hair is always bouncy after I finish using this and my hair is also very fluffy. So if you feel like your hair has been weighed down lately, if products haven't been taking to your hair like they usually do, you probably need to clarify and this will do it for you. I feel like I could probably keep this shampoo for at least two years because like you really don't need a lot at all. So when I bought the shampoo, I also wanted to get a matching conditioner because I noticed that when you get matching conditioners for um, really intensive shampoos, the conditioner helps to put a lot of the moisture back in. So I got this in hopes that it would do that and it does. I'm actually pretty much out of this. Like I probably have maybe that much left. But this product is amazing. 
I wouldn't use this on its own. So let me just really state that right now. I like to use this after I clarify with the Shampoo 2 Clarifying Shampoo. And this puts so much moisture back into my hair. It's very, very lightweight. It's very creamy. And it just really penetrates my hair and nourishes my hair. It makes my hair feel super duper good. Now, I don't detangle with this on its own. I will usually put a thicker conditioner on top that I like to detangle with. My favorite combo that I found so far is this with the Giovanni Deeper Moisture Conditioner. With that combo, my, my tangles just fell out. I've never experienced that before. I could just feel my tangles just falling apart and melting away. And I need to restock on that conditioner. Um, so yeah, I don't use this by itself, but it helps to put a lot of the moisture back in after using a very deep clean. So next I have this Main Choice 3-in-1 Revitalize and Refresh Conditioner. So this is supposed to be a conditioner that you can use to co-wash, leave-in, and detangle. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, I actually did a video on this back in 20. 17 I think it was 2017 and it was the best and worst products of 2016 and this was in my worst products pile so instead of throwing it away I wanted to keep it and use it to shave like I've always like to use any conditioner that doesn't work for me I'll just use it as shaving cream because shaving cream can get expensive so I might as well just use something that I already bought and I couldn't return this and I ended up barely using it <laughs> And now it's actually expired, so I'm not going to show it to you. Well, maybe I can show it this way. No, I can't. I'm not going to show it to you guys, but this is supposed to be like a white, um, slightly yellow, creamy product. And recently I tried to use it to shave, and it was like a brown, icky color, and it just didn't look right or smell right. So I'm throwing this away. And lastly, we have the Main Choice 4 Leaf Clover Manageability and Softening Remedy Leave-In Spray. Ooh. Manageability and Softening Remedy Leave-In Spray. I don't know why that was so hard to say. As you can see, this is basically gone. Um, the thing about this is this was actually sent to me in a Sally Beauty Beauty Box. And it actually leaked in the package, so I only got to use like maybe a third of this product. But it's amazing, and I think I actually want to repurchase it because I love how silky it makes your hair. It really um, instantly takes to your hair. Whenever I'm looking for a product that... I want to keep as like a holy grail product. I like for the product to instantly take to my hair and make a difference. And with this, as soon as I spray it on, my hair is softer, shinier, it has so much slip, and it's just like a little spray. I don't know how they do this. This is one of the few main choice products that I love. So I'm keeping this and I need to repurchase. And actually, let me know in the comments if you guys have tried their four leaf clover line. I haven't, I've only tried the spray. Um, but just based on the spray, I'm interested in trying the other products. But now we're going to move on to these products. So the first two products here, off the bat, I already know that I'm going to keep because this first one is the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I love this for a intensive, deep protein treatment that also leaves your hair feeling very, very moisturized. And my curls always pop after I use this. This is a really... Um, it's a really high quality deep conditioner and it's worth the price. I think one container of this is like, I don't know how much, maybe $28? I'm not sure, but it's worth the price. And now this product is something that I don't think is worth the price. So this is the Diva Curl Heaven and Hair. This is actually a product that I just recently tried, I think last month. This product was $28. I, like, I'm pretty sure it's $28. And the ingredients on it aren't the best. The only reason why I bought it is because I love the Curl Origin Moisture Deep Conditioner, but I'm out of it. And I needed to deep condition my hair, and you have to order that online. So this was kind of like something new that I never tried, but I always heard about. And I don't really like this product, um, but I'm going to finish it because whenever I'm using something, I like to, whenever I'm using something new, I like to really, really use it so I can give you guys a super, like, full review of it. And if you guys ever ask me about it, I know exactly my opinions on it. So with this so far, I don't like it because it makes my hair, it feels plasticky, this product. And when I put it on my hair, I don't feel like it's penetrating as deeply as a good deep conditioner should, especially a deep conditioner that I spent $28 on. But for some reason, after I use this, my curls are always really, really curly. That's something that's strange about this. Like, it doesn't necessarily give me the most moisture, but my curls are always like 
nice i would say as nice as the brio Gio deep conditioner but still like i can tell a difference after using it so for that reason i'm gonna try it a few more times and really get like a feel for the product um but i definitely don't think i'll be repurchasing this after i try it unless something changes my mind next i have the talia wajid apple and aloe nutrition curl definer this says that it will give you more defined curls fortified with vitamins and minerals so it has Water, aloe leaf juice, PEG 75 shea butter, which is not real shea butter, satiro alcohol, stearic acid, sodium, some stuff, coconut oil, castor seed oil, some other stuff, apple extract, vitamin A, vitamin B5, and also some silk protein, as well as some oat oil. This probably actually, hmm, I, I don't know about this. <laughs> I've never used it. Uh, I don't want to open it because I can feel how heavy it is and I don't want to break the seal. I've never used this, but as you guys saw from part one, a lot of the products from this line, I ended up giving away because I know that like where I'm going in my journey right now, I'm interested in like very high quality, very natural, as organic as possible products. And this just doesn't fit that bill. So I can't say whether it's good or not, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in my donate pile. So this is the Shea Moisture Sasha Inchi Oil Omega 369 um, Rescue and Repair Curl Defining Smoothie. Now I am just going to go ahead and say that pretty much any of the Shea Moisture products from here on out I'm getting rid of because I feel like Shea Moisture just doesn't give enough. It's just not enough. So this is for damaged and distressed hair and I already know that if I used it I would just be wanting more like yeah <laughs> so this is gonna go in the donate pile next i have my baskin bloom silky aloe curl pudding and this is supposed to define moisturize and boost shine let's see i actually have a lot of this i feel like it might not be good anymore yeah it's definitely not Ooh, that kind of looks nasty it smells so good though Ugh. It smells so good. Okay. So this is supposed to be, um, like, for me, it's a very, very, very whipped shea butter that gives you hold, moisture, and shine. And the ingredients are aloe vera gel, unrefined shea butter, olive oil infused hibiscus petal flower, orange peel, horsetail, and sea kelp. Wow. Aloe butter castor oil, jojoba oil, glycerin, avocado oil, vitamin E, and essential oil blend, as well as a preservative. So I have to get rid of this just because it doesn't look like it's good anymore, but I really did like this. I have a video using this as well. If you search my channel, just type in Baskin Bloom. Um, but yeah, I really liked it because it was moisturizing and it really did penetrate my low porosity hair. This smells really good. It smells like bubble gum and like tropical paradise. Yeah, I really like this. So it's a shame, but I gotta let it go. Lastly, this is definitely expired because it says used within six months of purchasing and I got this over a year ago. So this is another reason why I'm glad that I'm decluttering my products because a lot of the products that are mostly natural and have really great ingredients don't last for more than six months. Um, and I just never got rid of them. So this is the Omiage Whipped Curl Cream and this is their Marshmallow and Babasu Moisturizing Styling Cream. I didn't necessarily this wasn't a bad product um i would say that this is probably like a few steps up above shea moisture it has better ingredients so the ingredients are doo -doo -doo, purified water infused with marshmallow root horsetail fenugreek babasu oil avocado oil macadamia nut oil um a few things like to preserve it i'm sure so this i found just just wasn't enough like it wasn't bad if i had to rate this product i would give it like a b so if i had to use this product i would but i wouldn't necessarily go seek it out because i'm trying to have like a collection full of holy grails or above so the bar is very very high but i think that this is worth checking out if your hair likes thicker creamier denser products another thing about this is what it was a little bit too thick for me so i'm gonna go ahead and give it away or i'm sorry i'm gonna go ahead and trash it because it's expired next we have something that looks like it needs to be thrown out it's separating this is the shea moisture jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore styling lotion i actually out of all the lines really like the jamaican black castor oil line from shea moisture and i also really like this because as you can see i barely used it but that's just because it's so 
thick and just so dense that you really only need like the smallest amount like this a little bit of this goes so far I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it just because I don't necessarily like it enough to buy it again and it's expired anyway it looks like so this is going in the trash Next, I have the Shea Moisture Curl Stretch Pudding. It's a shame that I only got to use this a few times. So I have to add this line to the lines on Shea Moisture that I actually care for more than others. This Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter line, I actually enjoyed. Um, I do still think there's better out there, but for a Curl Stretch Pudding, I mean, it was pretty good. Like, it was cool. It was cool. I'll say that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it because like I said about Shea Moisture, you know, you can always do a little bit better, I feel like. This product right here, I think I actually have two of them. Let me see. Yeah, this is pretty much the same thing. So this is the Curl Origin Hibiscus Shea Curl Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner and it's supposed to be a moisturizing and detangling cream. This did not work very well for me, although I tried to make it work. If you can see, I've used like half of it. Um, and let's see, I don't know how long this is good for. This is one that I haven't used, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this in the donate pile. And actually, let me compare it <laughs> to this. So let's see. Oh, this is different. Okay, so off the bat, this is different. Maybe I should try it. I'm going to try this again. I know I said I was going to donate it, but I'm just going to try it again because I really do like Curl Origin and I want to branch out into their other products. But because I didn't like this, it always kind of deterred me because I was just like, ooh, like I don't like to waste a wash day. So I'm going to try this and um, we'll see if it sticks around. Now this little baby here is the Comet Biologics Hydrate and Twist Butter. This is a super, super small container of their twist butter. Uh, Get over here. There we go. <laughs> you still can't really see it. Um, but the ingredients on this are very good. The first four are olive oil, mango butter, rice oil blend, and the henel esters. Um, and I got this actually as a freebie from a Sephora order, which I thought was really, really cool. Because usually the freebies that they give you when you order online are like makeup. And a lot of times the makeup really doesn't work for people of color. But this was a freebie that I was able to choose. So I thought that was super cool. And I did like it. It's very oily. It's um, very rich in nutrients and rich in like high quality concentrated ingredients. But for my hair, it was just a little bit too thick and that's why I didn't, I never really finished it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this out because I know that this doesn't work for my hair. I'm not a, a big shea butter person and this is just like, this isn't even whipped. This is like, like unrefined shea butter type consistency. So I'm going to get rid of this. Although this isn't shea butter, it's mango butter. Next, we have something that I know I am giving away. This is the Shea Terra Organics Egyptian Black Castor Hair Oil, and it has a mango scent, which is really cool. So I actually unboxed this on my live PR unboxing, and I'm just going to give it away because, and I think I may have even said this on the, the video, I don't like to put heavy oils in my hair, especially on my scalp. For me, that doesn't work. I like to keep my scalp completely clean if I can. Um, if my scalp does get dry, I'll just take a little bit of almond oil and just lightly like kind of massage my scalp with my fingertips, but, but I won't like deliberately oil my scalp. Um, for me, it just works best if I keep my scalp free and clear and let my hair just grow out. And um, your scalp will really keep itself balanced if you keep it clean. So I don't have any use for black castor oil. It's too thick for my hair. So I'm going to be donating this. Next, I have another product that I actually won in a giveaway. This is the Naturally Loved All Natural Hair and Skin Products. And this was actually made by a black woman owned business in Jacksonville. So I'm not gonna open it because I haven't used it. I'm definitely gonna donate this because it's shea butter. It's whipped shea butter and there aren't any ingredients on here. So if you guys wanna research the company, it's Naturally Loved. And I'm going to give this away because, like I said before, Shea Butter doesn't really agree with my hair. And this Shea Moisture Reshaping Shine Butter kind of has the same thing going on. So this I'm going to donate. 
and this I'm actually going to throw out because I've used it but this is a butter that you're supposed to use to kind of shape your hair and mold it into place and that definitely doesn't work for my hair because it's fine and it really doesn't hold shape <laughs> like it kind of just does its own thing and I just have to live with it so the ingredients on this are shea butter hydrogenate hydrogenated vegetable oil cocoa seed butter candelia wax and linseed oil and I never like most products that have wax in them because you can feel that they're a little bit waxy and not necessarily moisturizing or hydrating or nourishing this is something that you can use on your hair if you want to block out moisture like if you moisturize your hair with your products and then you put this on you're definitely going to block the moisture um, so just be careful if you're using something similar to this but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out next I have some coconut oil oh no it's actually expired today. It's Best Buy, February 16, 2019. Dang! This is some good coconut oil. This is why you need to go through your stash. I'm kind of upset. I think I got this for free. I think I got this for free. Um, if you guys have ever heard of Thrive Market, they do this thing where they give you like a free coconut oil. It's like a whole like organic food website that gets delivered to your door so I guess I got this for free and I never used it because I didn't even know I had it but I got thrown out so what and next I have something very interesting it is shea butter oil from Shea Terra Organics and it's in a lemongrass scent this is something that I also think is really cool because like it's in this brown bottle so they're trying to protect the properties of the product from any lights or sunlight which is good this is, let's see, this is a very conscious brand. It's completely natural and certified organic from Uganda. This is a line that I really respect. Um, I like their mud wash and I'm actually keeping that. But I respect that they take it upon themselves to source their products from Africa and create jobs and economic stability for the women who gather the supplies and the ingredients for their products. Oh, look at that. So we have another shelf emptied. And now I'm going to get to this shelf. Now because it's like at my waist and you guys wouldn't be able to see my face if I move the camera down, I'm just going to pick stuff up. Every time I get a PR note, this is from Glow By Day, um, Renee over at Glow By Day, which is where all my bonnets are from. I like to keep my PR notes, so I need to actually like put them somewhere. This one is from Curl Origin, which is super nice. So yeah, I need to put this somewhere. This one is from... H&B, which is a black woman owned candle shop that I worked with back in November. But yeah, when people take time to write handwritten notes, it really makes me happy. So this is the Oyen Handmade Honey Hemp Detangling Moisturizing Hair Conditioner. Now I have raved about this conditioner on my channel for quite some time. Um, this actually used to be one of my all time favorite conditioners and surprisingly that has changed. So ever since I cut my hair, I've been changing up my wash day and I'm going back to a few old favorites. One of them being the Giovanni Deeper Moisture Conditioner. Um, and so when I actually tried to use this, I think I used this a few weeks ago, it did not respond well in my hair. And I remember when I first started using this, the first two times I used it, like way 2016, like a long time ago, my hair didn't really respond to it. But for some reason, I find that with some products, I kind of have to find like how my hair likes them to be used. So I don't know if it's just because I haven't used this in a while or what, but my hair did not like this. And um, I actually had to use nearly the whole bottle to fully detangle my hair because there just wasn't enough slip for some reason. So I don't know if this is just like a bad batch, but I'm gonna go ahead and trash this because it just didn't agree with my hair. Next, I have two products that I haven't yet talked about on my channel. They're both from Bounce Curl, which is a woman-owned business out of Austin, I think? Um, no, Phoenix, Arizona. And so this first one is their vitamin enriched pomegranate and pumpkin enzyme clarifying shampoo. Now I bought this, I bought both of these with my own money, um, I want to say back in maybe November, October. And this is when I was searching for a clarifying shampoo that would give me moisture but still clarify my hair. And this actually does that. So I'm going to keep it because it's a really good clarifying shampoo. The ingredients are phenomenal, like there's too much stuff to name, but the ingredients are almost all natural. A lot of the ingredients are plant-derived and some of them are organic as well. 
So um, I really like this clarifying shampoo and I'm gonna keep it. And I think I have like half of it left. And this is a product that I have not yet tried yet, just because one, I kind of forgot that I had it, and two, I need a good leave-in, I feel, underneath this. So this is the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel with Aloe Vera and Nigella Sativa. Ooh, Sativa. <laughs> to enhance natural curls and promote healthy hair. So what you're supposed to do with this is basically use this. If you have hair that doesn't crave a lot of moisture, you can use this gel on its own. I actually like, um, I like to do a consistency test when I have products that are new. And the consistency on this is really nice. It's silky, it's moisturizing, and it lingers. And it's kind of watery in a way that makes me feel like I definitely need to have something underneath it to keep my hair moisturized. So I haven't used this yet, but it's a pretty healthy gel as far as the ingredients go. Um, a few of the ingredients are water, jojoba esters, hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed oat protein, aloe leaf extract, ginseng root, sativa extract, black um, cumin oil. So there's some really good things in here. And once I try it, you know, if I like it, I'll let you guys know.